Right then, so I'm back again uh, with Mr. Hank De Bruin. Uh, they're from the wonderful Winter Dance Dog Sledding Tours. And now, Hank, uh, there, can you tell me where your ideal customers, uh, their hangout, where have people found out about the wonderful, the truly rewarding, unique experience that you offer at Winter Dance Dog Sledding Tours? Um, our most, most of our customers are word of mouth, uh, media coverage. We, we never spend much time, much money on, on advertising because who knows where to advertise. So word of mouth is huge for us. And, and that's why we always say everybody has to leave a smile on their face. Someone goes home and says, wow, I just did the most amazing thing. You got to try it. Well, guess what? That person says, yeah, I got to try that. But if he goes home and says, wow, that was, that was awful. That person's going to say, oh, I'm not going to do that, right? So that's a big, um, we've, we've been very lucky with, with, uh, with media. We've had CNN, we've had New York Times, we've had an article in an airline magazine. We've had articles everywhere. South Africa, someone sent us a whole letter or newspaper from South Africa 10 years ago. We had no idea it was, they had put their experience on in the newspaper in South Africa. That's pretty cool. So it's our, our clients come from all over. It's like I said, we've been very fortunate with media coverage and in word of mouth. Trip Advisor is another big one for us. Um, people nowadays, when they search for something to do, they go on Trip Advisor. And uh, if there's bad reviews, obviously they're not going to want to do it. But if there's good reviews, they want to try it. Um, yes. Yes, I was checking Google out some enough. of your reviews on TripAdvisor and there they're all like really, really, really good. There are there people there that have had a positive and rewarding and truly uh, unique experience there. And I think there that that's testimony uh, there to the service, to the services there that you guys are offering. That's absolutely fantastic. And yeah. now, of course, then with this uh, advertising on Google, uh, there are this free advertising there that is uh, that is absolutely fantastic because uh, then now we're going to be able to put out the reach there to many 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 more people, and oh. that's going to be absolutely fantastic. Yeah, but there are the the most the most rewarding experiences there are truly when if you get a lot of these word of mouth recommendations and you guys get them in abundance. Yeah, we we we've, we've been we've been very fortunate. Um, I. I we treat we treat every individual at the trail as they're a good friend. We try to. Um, we have no airs. We're out to do. We're dirt air like we are. We're all out there to go out and enjoy a day with a bunch of dogs yes. in the wilderness. So, I think everybody kind of has a common mission: is to go out and have fun for the day. So if if yeah, if I can go out and have fun with you, I'm going to go out and have fun with you. That's all. Just do it. Yeah. What, what better way to make a what better way to make a living, right? Yes, yes, you're doing something there that you're truly passionate about. And as you said to me at the beginning there, before we turned on the camera, uh, you were talking to me about uh, the weather over the last few days, and you were saying there that it was a beautiful mix of sunshine and snow. And you, you know, you're the sort of person there yourself and Tanya. You're out there every day, and you're having fun because this is what you love doing. And I think this resonates with you. They see that the two of you are happy, that your kids are happy, that the dogs are happy, and that everybody is having a truly happy experience. So if you bring people into the mix like that, uh, then I, I think they're, that they're in for a truly rewarding and a very, very, very special experience. It's going to be absolutely amazing. Wow. Yeah, the, the dogs are the magic though. The energy, the, 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 the passion of the dogs, that's, that's the magic of the whole thing. Yes. Um, they're, they're, like I said, they're incredible athletes and, and as long as, oh, they're, they're just crazy. Yeah, they they live to they live to run. They live they live to go as yeah. a team. Yeah, no, it's just it's crazy. We can hook up. We can put a bunch of pups on on the line that have never been in harness before, and and uh, they might not know what to do, but mm -hmm. they'll sit there and scream to do something, right? Yeah. And and it's it's instinct to them. We can hook them up and they're standing there screaming and, and jumping around and no one knows which way to go, but that's what, that's my job is to teach them that 
that to work as a team but it, the energy is there the, the want is there the will is there yes. it's just it's just incredible and that's what's so cool about running dogs is is, is watching a small puppy like this like this grow to be a big dog and then find that dog becomes just an amazing athlete over time and yeah. and, and some of our greatest leaders and then unfortunately it, as they age they don't live as long as us the saddest part about the whole thing is to watch yeah. an old a dog get old and slowly fade away that's that's the heartbreaking part of it yeah but but you do offer there from from what i've been talking to you about uh, you do offer excellent retirement packages there for the uh, for the dogs there the dogs unfortunately there that become ill are the dogs there that uh, as they grow older yeah no no we have a really really healthy retirement package we also have what we call the welfare package uh-huh what's that that's well that's for, we've always had one or two dogs that are too crazy to run so they uh-huh. live off yeah or 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 who knows? Every once in a while, we have a litter where there's a run to the litter that just cannot do it. So okay. they're with us. That's our that's our welfare. They're on the welfare package. <laughs> and, and I was watching some of your videos there. And it is it true there that, for example, if uh, if one of your dogs doesn't want to get onto the to the transport for going to these things, uh, then that th- that dog there doesn't uh, doesn't run, doesn't make that particular run. Is that correct? Yes, that is correct. If a dog, we, we, we have a large indoor kennel and, and we drive the trucks into a big yard, close the gate, open it up the dog, the kennel doors and let dogs out. We can load 80 dogs in 15 minutes to head for the trail. That's how keen they are to go to the trail. So if someone goes back in and doesn't want to run that day, that's fine. Take a day off. Take a day you know, off. Yeah. Maybe tomorrow, tomorrow, don't, tomorrow don't want to go. That's, or else the one we come. Yeah, because yeah, no, you know, every, 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 everybody has a hot off day. Yes. You know, I, you know. Yes, and, I, do, and I dog, do myself. Yeah, we all yeah, do. Yeah, the dogs tell us. I call, I call in sick every morning, but no one answers the phone, so I have to go. <laughs> <laughs> you have to go. <laughs> no, I, I think there secretly you love it. Secretly you love oh, it. Yeah. There. Whenever, yeah. whenever the alarm clock goes off, boom. Uh, you're out there, you're out there and you're having fun with all of your beautiful, wonderful dogs. So thank you very, very much there, Hank de Bruin, for this truly amazing and enriching experience. Uh, there, I have I have learned a lot and I look forward uh, to sharing with all of you lovely people out there on Google and beyond. Uh, there, this is going to be an amazing experience. So stay tuned for the next videos. Okay.